Have you ever gazed up at the stars and wondered if we are truly alone in the universe? This is a question that has captivated the human spirit and imagination for centuries, sparking a curiosity that transcends borders and cultures. It's a cosmic question that has driven our exploration and understanding of the universe. We find ourselves nestled on this blue marble we call Earth, in a vast cosmos teeming with stars. Each of these stars might be a sun to another world, or perhaps a multitude of worlds. These worlds, these planets beyond our solar system, are what we call exoplanets. The existence of these exoplanets stirs within us a profound question. Could there be other life forms out there, perhaps staring back at us from their own distant worlds? As we delve deeper into our cosmic neighborhood, we are inching closer to answering this question. The search for life beyond our solar system begins with the discovery of exoplanets. Exoplanets, or extrasolar planets, are planets beyond our solar system, orbiting other stars. The cosmos is teeming with these celestial bodies, each with its own unique characteristics and mysteries. Now, let's delve deeper into the formation of these exoplanets. They are born from the same swirling disks of gas and dust that create stars. When a star forms, the remaining material begins to coalesce, forming chunks of rock and ice that eventually grow into planets. This process is known as planetary formation, and it's the very same process that formed the planets in our own solar system. Detecting these distant planets is an intricate task. Astronomers use a variety of methods, with one of the most common being the transit method. This involves observing a star and watching for a small dip in its brightness, which occurs when an exoplanet passes in front of it. Another technique is the radial velocity method, where scientists measure the slight wobble of a star caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. Exoplanets come in a variety of types, each with its own unique features. First, we have terrestrial planets, similar to Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. These are primarily composed of rock and metal, and some may even have atmospheres and potentially water. Next, we have gas giants, akin to Jupiter and Saturn in our solar system. These planets are primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with dense cores. Then there are the ice giants, similar to Uranus and Neptune, with atmospheres composed of heavier volatile substances like water, ammonia, and methane. Lastly, we have the dwarf planets, smaller celestial bodies that have not cleared their neighboring region of other objects. These exoplanets are incredibly diverse, ranging from scorching hot gas giants larger than Jupiter to icy dwarf planets smaller than our moon. With thousands of exoplanets discovered so far, the chances of finding a planet capable of supporting life are increasingly promising. For life as we know it to exist, certain conditions must be met. Let's delve into the concept of the habitable zone, that sweet spot in space, also known as the Goldilocks zone, a place not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life to potentially thrive. Imagine our solar system as a vast cosmic neighborhood. Each planet is a house, and the sun is like the community heater, warming each house to varying degrees. The habitable zone is that comfortable block where conditions are just right, not too close to the scorching sun, and not too far into the icy reaches of space. The crucial ingredient for life as we know it is water. And for water to exist in liquid form, a planet needs to be at the right distance from its star. Too close, and any water would simply evaporate into space. Too far, and it would freeze solid. But in the Goldilocks zone, a planet could have vast oceans, rivers, and rain, just like Earth. But the distance from a star is only part of the equation. The temperature on the surface of a planet is equally important. It needs to be in a range that allows for complex molecules, the building blocks of life to form and function. Too hot and these molecules might break apart, too cold and they might not form at all. The atmosphere also plays a crucial role. It needs to be thick enough to trap some of the star's heat, creating a sort of planetary blanket, but not too thick or it could lead to a runaway greenhouse effect like we see on Venus. So you see, finding a planet in the habitable zone is like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack, but the rewards are potentially enormous. The discovery of such a place could answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Several exoplanets have been found in the habitable zones of their stars, 
making them prime candidates in the search for alien life. Let's take a closer look at some of these promising exoplanets. We start our journey with Proxima Centauri b, the closest known exoplanet to us, located just over four light years away in the habitable zone of the star Proxima Centauri, our solar system's nearest stellar neighbor. This planet is roughly 1.3 times the size of Earth, making it an Earth-like planet, or terrestrially speaking, a potentially habitable world. However, Proxima Centauri b orbits its star much closer than Earth does the Sun, which could expose it to high levels of stellar radiation. Yet, despite this, scientists believe there's a chance that this planet may harbor liquid water on its surface, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Next, let's travel a bit further out to Kepler, 22b, located about 600 light years from Earth. This exoplanet is in the habitable zone of its star, Kepler 22, and is about 2.4 times the size of Earth. It's known as a super-Earth, a term used for planets larger than Earth but smaller than Uranus and Neptune. Kepler 22b's surface could be covered entirely by a global ocean, much like the water worlds of science fiction. However, there's still much we don't know about this distant planet. It could be a water world, or it could be a gaseous mini-Neptune. Regardless, its location within its star's habitable zone makes it a fascinating subject for study. Now, let's journey to the constellation Scorpius, where we find Gliese 667 CC. This exoplanet is located 22 light years away and is about 4.5 times the size of Earth. It orbits within the habitable zone of its star, Gliese 667 C, a red dwarf star that is part of a three star system. The planet's year, its complete orbit around its star, is equivalent to about 28 Earth days. Gliese 667 CC, like Proxima Centauri b, is exposed to high levels of stellar radiation due to its close proximity to its star. However, scientists believe that if the planet has a strong enough magnetic field, it could shield the surface and potentially allow for the existence of liquid water. Each of these exoplanets presents a unique set of conditions. Their size, distance from their star, the type of their star, their atmosphere, and their potential for water are all factors that contribute to their potential habitability. They are all located within their star's habitable zone, the region where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. However, being in the habitable zone doesn't guarantee that a planet is habitable. There are many other factors to consider. For instance, a planet's atmosphere plays a critical role in maintaining surface temperatures suitable for liquid water. An atmosphere that is too thin, like Mars, could result in water evaporating into space. Conversely, an atmosphere that is too thick, like Venus's, could result in a runaway greenhouse effect, making the surface too hot for liquid water. Moreover, the planet's size is also a key factor. A planet that is too small may not have enough gravity to hold onto an atmosphere, while a planet that is too large may have gravity so strong that it leads to extreme atmospheric pressure at the surface, potentially making it inhospitable for life as we know it. Lastly, the type of star the planet orbits also matters. Planets orbiting red dwarf stars, like Proxima Centauri b and Gliese 667 cc, are exposed to high levels of stellar radiation due to their close proximity to their stars. This could potentially strip away a planet's atmosphere over time. However, if a planet has a strong magnetic field, it could protect the atmosphere and the surface from this radiation. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, these exoplanets are relatively close to us, yet they're still light years away. Our current technology limits our ability to study these planets in detail. However, with the rapid advancements in technology and the launch of more sophisticated telescopes, we are getting closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? These exoplanets, each unique in its own way, offer exciting possibilities in our search for extraterrestrial life. Our journey into the cosmos has only just begun. As we stand on the precipice of a new era in space exploration, our understanding of exoplanets and their potential to host life is about to take a giant leap forward thanks to upcoming missions and advanced technologies. In the near future, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, will supersede the Hubble Space Telescope. With its larger mirror, 
the JWST will peer deeper into the universe, capturing unprecedented images of distant exoplanets. But the JWST isn't just a bigger and better Hubble. It's equipped with advanced instruments that will allow us to analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets, searching for signs of life like oxygen, methane, and other intriguing biosignatures. Similarly, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, otherwise known as TESS, is set to revolutionize our exoplanet discoveries. Unlike its predecessor Kepler, which focused on a small patch of the sky, TESS will survey the entire sky, potentially discovering thousands of new exoplanets. With its ability to identify planets orbiting bright nearby stars, TESS will provide a rich catalogue of targets for further study by JWST and future observatories. But the future of exoplanet exploration isn't just about bigger and better telescopes. Scientists and engineers are also developing innovative technologies such as star shades, which could block out the light from a star, allowing a space telescope to directly image an orbiting exoplanet. Imagine that, seeing an exoplanet as more than just a speck of light, but as a world with continents, oceans, and perhaps even signs of life. The future of exoplanet exploration is bright, filled with promise and potential. Each new discovery, each technological advancement, brings us one step closer to answering that age-old question, are we alone in the universe? As our technology advances, so does our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The question remains, are we alone in the universe? As we've journeyed across the cosmos today, from the comfort of our homes, we've delved into the fascinating world of exoplanets, those celestial bodies orbiting stars beyond our own solar system. In our quest for understanding, we've explored the concept of the habitable zone, that Goldilocks region not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life as we know it to potentially exist. We've ventured to distant exoplanets that lie within these habitable zones, worlds that could be teeming with life, planets with surface water, breathable atmospheres, and stable climates, planets that mirror our home in the cosmos, Earth. These are the worlds that fuel our dreams and inspire our search for life beyond our solar system. Yet, as awe-inspiring as these possibilities are, we must temper our excitement with a dose of reality. The search for extraterrestrial life is a complex, challenging endeavor. The distances are vast, the conditions harsh, and the signals we're looking for are often faint and elusive. But we are not deterred. Instead, we are driven by the tantalizing prospect that we might not be alone in the universe. Our tools and techniques are continually evolving, becoming more sophisticated and precise. With each passing year, we peer deeper into the cosmos, discovering more exoplanets and refining our understanding of their potential to host life. Our quest is persistent and patient, for we know that science is a journey of discovery, not a race to the finish line. As we look to the future, we're filled with hope and anticipation. We're on the cusp of potentially the greatest discovery in human history, the detection of life beyond our planet. And while we've yet to find definitive proof, we're closer than ever before. While the answer remains elusive, the search for life beyond our solar system continues to inspire and intrigue us. After all, the universe is a vast place filled with infinite possibilities.